Today, we are drafting, dare I say it, trapping the best wonder kids in world football in the worst team in FIFA 20. And you guessed it, we're back again. Take a look at the clock. It is time for another iconic career mode draft experiment. And this time today, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to go down. We continue to test career mode, pushing it to its extremes. And now I hear you ask, who is the worst team in FIFA 20? It is a tough task to accomplish, but hey, one team has got to get that accolade at the end of the day and here we go it is in the republic of ireland sorry to any irish viewers watching it is ucd dublin afc dublin i'm not even sure how to even say their name but they have got half a star oh, gee. Re <laughs> really <laughs> if i speak i am in in big trouble they have 54 attack 54 midfield and 53 defense they are by far the worst team in fifa 20 if not FIFA history. I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again. I honestly don't recall seeing a team this bad. Like, honestly, I do not know what's going on over there in Ireland. But today, it's going to receive a major switch up. We are taking this team from 0 to 100 real quick. And now I hear you saying who are going to be the lucky ones that will be trapped in this Irish side. UCD Dublin are going to be experiencing a rapid turnover. It is going to be a transformation like no other. I don't really know what to call it. Are we drafting the best wonder kids or are we trapping them in literally the worst place and worst team possible? No disrespect to Dublin. It's just your football squad isn't up to par. We're going position by position and we're going to start off in the goalkeeping spot. It will be Gianluigi Donnarumma joining up with UCD Dublin. Let's get it on our first draft pick. Our backup number two will be Ionot Radu, the Romanian goal goalkeeper will be our second choice and welcome to Dublin son and it should feel like home to the young Irishman Gavin Bazunu who will be our third choice he's a young Irish wonder kid and he's coming home to the capital let's draft him in just for the sake of it and I've just realized now the league they play in is the Airtricity League it just sounds like something out of Rick and Morty I'm not too sure and in defense our first pick will be the Dutchman Matthias De Litt joining up with the worst team in FIFA 20 join on the ride buddy Nicolas Sula is going to be his partner, the German, is now a new UC Dublin player. A bit of Brazilian choice in our centre back, it will be Adam Militao joining up with the squad. And it's our final centre back draft pick, the Frenchman Deot Upamecano is going to be right into this team. And there you can see we're slowly getting upgraded, now sitting at a two star, going from half a star to having two of them. So this is progress. Lucas Hernandez is the second Frenchman two in a row now that will be joining up with the team. He is going to slot in at left back. Forget Bayern Munich, forget the big European leagues. Alfonso Davies is on the first plane straight to Dublin. Hakimi is also going to be another Bundesliga export. He's joining us here in the Irish League and the Moroccan has found a new home. And how generous of him, Aaron Wambasaka is taking a pay cut from Manchester United and it's going to be UC Dublin's brand new recruit. Moving on to the midfield now and we've drafted our first central defensive midfielder it will be the Italian Stallion aka Kylo Ren Sandro Tonali is joining up with Dublin and you bet alongside him there's some draft favorites in the previous video we've also drafted them and today, they're going to be some more draft recruits. Eduardo Camavinga is joining up with the team. Frankie de Jong's also making the move from Barcelona to Ireland, and that is a brilliant pickup. And the midfield just keeps on getting stronger as Arthur Mello is going to follow his Barcelona teammate. The Brazilian finds himself in Dublin now. And it's our third La Liga recruit in a row. It's a brand new draft member, Federico Valverde. Forget Real Madrid. It is all about Dublin. And Kai Havertz joins alongside the Spaniard, Danny Olmo, the English youngster, Phil Froden from Manchester City. And to cap off the camp position, it will be Real Madrid's brand new Brazilian wonder kid, Rainier Jesus, to also be drafted in. And you know, it just couldn't be a wonder kid draft video without Jaden Sancho. So he is signing on the dotted line. Or Yazabal, why not join up with a team? The Spanish winger will be our 22nd player. There's a theme here with Real Madrid Brazilians. It will be Vinicius Junior also linking up with the team and he'll be starting off at left wing. And it's the golden boy of world football right now. No, not Al Fatil. It is Ansu Fati, another La Liga recruit drafted into the team. Leroy Sane is not getting all too much love in real life from Pep Guardiola. So we'll welcome him to a place that he will start week in, week out. And that is right here in Dublin. Welcome on into the team. And now finishing up at striker, we're going to pick up the Frenchman Kylian Mbappe. One of the best, if not the best, wonder kids 
in the world, and he is going to be Dublin star. Erling Brautalan just can't stop scoring and will definitely need goals in this squad as well. So the Norwegian is going to be our second striker. And the poster boy of Kurimo this year, Joel Felix, will also offer up his services to the worst team in FIFA 20. And the last player to be drafted into the team, Lautaro Martinez, is going to take up that final spot and our squad is now complete. And within a matter of minutes, a simple draft could transform the worst team in FIFA to one of the best and probably with one of the brightest futures in world football as well. But here's the thing. They're in the Irish League. They're going to be coming up against basically Irish farmers week in, week out. Oh, go on, man. And these wonder kids are going to be trapped here forever. They are not making any moves whatsoever. And we're going to see if they're going to be one of the first Irish teams ever to qualify for the Champions League. It is going to be an insane experience and I'm keen to see what these lads could conjure up. It's funny how the tides can change. One day you wake up and you're the worst team in the world. The next day you're pretty much invincible. That's basically what we've done here. Delete will be the captain and now it's time to start simulating in career mode the worst team of FIFA with the best Wonder Kids. Let's see what goes down. Now that all the Wonder Kids are trapped, held hostage here in Dublin, make sure you go ahead and smack that like button down below if you go on to enjoy the video. Subscribe, turn on those notifications so you never miss out on any content coming to the channel. Channel. Follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description. Also make sure to comment down below. Is there any more draft content you want to see come towards the channel? We've got plenty more career mode videos and wacky little experiments we gotta try. And the simulating starts now. Dublin will never be the same after this. Let's get it on. And as predicted, the best drafted slash trapped one kids in the world have swept the Irish League clean. 36 wins out of 36, a perfect record and 108 points sitting pretty on top. And I do believe they qualify for the Champions League qualification stages. I'm not too sure how it will all work, but we're going to find out. Let's see where these Wonder Kids can take this club. And the Wonder Kids seem to be happy so far. No one throwing a tantrum. No one wanting a transfer request. No one wanting to go to a bigger club for more money. Because basically, they're all on less than 10k. Mbappe is the highest paid player at the club on 9k. Like, that is just a major pay cut from all these guys. From what they were getting at their previous club. So, big up to them. Um, they've really taken a hit in terms of their wallet. They've been humbled. And you've got to admire their loyalty to the Irish League. But here are our best performers. Kylian Mbappe sitting on top with 49 goals and 13 appearances. I have it. 36 goals and 15 for him. Jaden Sancho killing it over here with 23 goals and 22 assists. A smashing season in there from Danny Olmo and Frankie de Jong, who just had reverse stats, which is pretty cool. And then Eddie Militao from Sedevac somehow got 6 goals and 2 assists. Federico Valverde, Lautaro Martinez and Haaland also performed pretty well. And it was the big man Gianluigi Donnarumma, 32 clean sheets in 41 appearances. Now on to season 2, I'm sure something is crazy in store for this drafted team. These trapped one, the kids are going to take on Europe. And it looks like the lads breezed through that qualification process in the Champions League. They had to go through Rosenberg and Celtic to get through to the group stages and they did exactly that. Now Dublin is fighting it out in the best competition in world football and club football. And they're in Group G alongside Leverkusen, Benfica, and CSKA Moscow. So let's see if they can go ahead and win the whole thing. And this is what basically went down in Season 2. They're top of the Irish division yet again. 108 points, a perfect record. 36 games out of 36, all taking the W. As expected, they did go ahead and conquer domestically at the EA Sports Cup. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, we'll move on. And you all knew it. They're going to get there. It is the Champions League final up against Liverpool in 2021. They had a big journey there, defeating Manchester United 8-2 on aggregate. <laughs> They defeated the Red Devils, humiliated them. I shouldn't be laughing, I'm a United fan. Nevertheless, we'll get into the quarterfinals up against City. It wasn't that humiliating with a 4-2 aggregate defeat of the Citizens. And then again, it is a 4-2 win up against Atletico Madrid. And it was Liverpool who beat out Bayern 8-3 in the other game. Uh, these are just some weird and wacky results we're getting here with this experiment. Nevertheless, they're both facing each other in the final. And this is what basically is going down at the end of season two no one is asking for a wage increase everyone just thinks yeah they're valued at all these hundreds of millions and they're just getting paid a few k a week they don't mind they're not being greedy they're not trying to secure the bag or anything they're staying humble and they're willing to the cause they've been drafted here they're trapped here for life basically it's cruel i know you know they've got to stick it out until they retire they will be dublin players they have no other choice and it's killing mbappe yet again with 50 goals and 10 assists 60 goal contributions Jaden sancho racking up the numbers 
there with 41 goals, 34 assists. And it's Kai Havertz, 39 goals, 17. And then Danny Olmo with 32 goal contributions. Frankie de Jong as consistent as ever. And the team just gets better and better and better. Leroy Sane's character continues to malfunction, which is just absolutely hilarious. And it's Gianluigi Donnarumma and Radu sharing the sticks, getting a combined 47 clean sheets. And it's two classic vintage rivals going at it again in a Champions League final. It is Dublin with their newly found success and wealth. They are facing Liverpool in the final. Six-time champions. Let's see what goes down here tonight. Who is going to take home the crown? And it's only one goal in it. De Litt with the goal. And he's the captain as well. It was the moment that separates both sides of the night. And it is Dublin within two seasons winning the Champions League with their brand new drafted stars. A bit of a lackluster final, but hey, we'll take it. We are definitely not complaining. I'd bet you never see this image in career mode ever. The game's that glitched out that it can't even load the Dublin badge on the top. It can't even show the UC Dublin badge. How disappointing. Oh, there we go. It's returned. Now we go into season three with these drafted wonder kids. We're going to let the world of football react to this. Are they going to start poaching at our players? Are we going to get big offers in? for the stars of this squad. We're gonna have to wait and see. The transfer window awaits, and season three is going to be mayhem. And the team was met with a few injuries and suspensions before the UEFA Super Cup final. We're taking on the Europa League winners, and it's Chelsea, another classic Premier League opposition. We took down Liverpool in the Champions League. Now, can the drafted wonder kids do it against Chelsea? They've done exactly that. It is Kai Havertz, the two Germans, and Leroy Sane getting in the goals. A brace for the young Havertz, and Sane also adding on to the devastation for Chelsea. They've taken over Ireland, they've turned the tides around, and now we are slowly conquering Europe, if not the world, here with the worst team in FIFA. And all of a sudden, things are looking a lot brighter. And the offers have come in thick and fast from Europe's best. We've had the likes of Celtic, Borussia Dortmund, Juventus even coming out for our stars as well. We've had Lazio, Fulham. Think they can get a hold of Eda Militao. It is a strange world we've created here and we are just living in it. Let's see what other teams try and offer up a load of cash for our stars. Well, as Brentford try and pounce on Alfonso Davies to get him on loan, Atletico Madrid also joined the long list of clubs after our players. Matthias De Litt is enticed with a 64.3 million pound move to move there. And it's the likes of PSG and Barcelona to flex their financial muscle, trying to buy out this entire Champions League winning side, but we're just letting it slide we are ignoring every single notification. Alan looks a bit angry in fairness that he's not getting his dream Barcelona move. I think opting to play for Dublin is probably a better decision, mate. All right, so this is where you've just got to hear me out. We've taken a completely different turn. We've done a complete 180, and basically we've just transfer listed every single player in this team. We're going to make everyone pretty angry. The players are absolutely fuming right now, and we're going to do a little sneaky on Dublin right here. We're going to swap clubs. We're going to transfer over to a different managerial position and just watch the transfer window from afar. Lazio will be the club of choice where we're basically just going to sit back, watch all the action unfold and see if Dublin can handle all this pressure, all these clubs coming at them. It's been a good run, boys, but now it's time to see if they could survive on their own. Can they keep a hold of any of their players throughout this transfer window? Let's see if they can pull off the impossible. And much to my surprise, only two Two players were out the door at Dublin. It is Matthias De Ligt off to Real Madrid for 61.6 million and Erling Brautalan moving over to PSG for 46. But hey, that is just January. We've got the summer coming up and I'm sure the purge is going to continue. They're going to be ripped apart limb from limb. And let's see what business is done and what is left of that drafted squad after another transfer window. And once more, I was expecting some big spending from the clubs around Europe for these Dublin players. But here we have Arthur moving back to Barcelona for 84.9 million pounds and yet again much to my surprise not much action going on as we scroll down to take a look at some more transfers going on Sandro Tonali over to Frankfurt for 40.8 million pounds and that is pretty much it for the top spenders meanwhile we have the Romanian goalkeeper Radu moving over to Sevilla as well he's brand new transfer to Spain that didn't make the top transfers list and we've tried it yet again in the January transfer window and it's only Federico Valverde off to Bayern for 113.6 million pounds, but it seems like the Irish outfit are doing a pretty good job of keeping a hold of their main stars. Here is what they are left with in the team, and basically, I don't know, maybe they're just too expensive for any teams to pick up, but yeah, Rainier's pretty
pretty affordable. Mbappe is probably going nowhere. Nobody in the world has that type of money. And you know what? They held up pretty nicely. They scrubbed up pretty well. Better than I expected anyway. I thought, you know, in this entirety of the team would be out the door. They've managed to hold on and I think they offended off a lot of the big European competition. So that is going to be it for the worst team in FIFA 20. Getting drafted some of the best wonder kids. This is exactly what happened and this FIFA 20 experiment is now coming to an end. If you did go ahead and enjoy the video, make sure to slap it a like down below. Hit subscribe, turn on those notifications for more FIFA 20 content coming your way. Follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description. Also comment down below what other draft related content you'd like to see come to the channel. As always, I've been BCHD, have a nice day and I'll catch you all on the very next video.